Lesson 4 Ethics and Safety Measures in Computing Internet The Internet is one of the largest information databases. It has become a very important part of our life. The Internet stands for International Network of Computers. It's a global system of interconnected computer networks that allows the user to share information and various resources with each other. Tasks that usually require personal interaction such as banking, shopping or communication can now be done online. You can share data and information across the globe instantly. Indeed, internet has transformed the world into a smaller and a convenient place to live in. Today the buzzword is only internet. The network of internet is getting wider with each passing day. To analyze how fast the use of internet is growing, pick any newspaper or magazine and carefully observe the advertisements given therein. You would realize that almost every enterprise has its website listed in addition to its address and telephone numbers. Every organization, small or big, is making its presence felt on the internet. Internet is a boon to the world. Today, internet touches almost every aspect of a life. Interestingly, internet provides 24 cross 7 services. Advantages of internet In the field of education, Internet has changed the traditional learning system completely. It's now used for educational purposes by scholars, students and teachers to learn anytime and anywhere. It has shown dramatic impact on higher education as more universities offer online courses. IGNO is one of the universities which offers this facility. The internet is a vast storehouse of information and is also used to publish papers and articles. Convenient mode of communication. The internet is a convenient and economic mode of communication. Users can communicate with each other using various services available on internet like uh, email, chat, video conferencing, instant messenger, etc. In business, the internet has brought new opportunities for business to offer goods and services online, which has proved to be really beneficial. Meetings can now be conducted inexpensively through the video conferencing facility without physically visiting the place. Financial transactions can be made online from the office or even home. E-commerce. It is the concept used for any kind of commercial or business deal that involves the transfer of information across the globe by using the internet. Nowadays, many companies have their own portals or websites which are used for e-commerce. E-commerce industry has become one of the biggest industries in the world. We can now purchase every possible goods and get services from different shopping portals around the world. 
It also includes booking tickets for bus, flight, train and hotel rooms. Media and Entertainment Internet adds value to media and entertainment. Downloading games, videos, songs, visiting chat rooms or surfing the web are some of the uses which attract people towards the internet. Internet also provides the facility to read different newspapers, magazines and books online. Social networking. It is the latest way to communicate. Some examples of social networking sites are Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, MySpace, etc. It offers a platform where an individual can connect with friends and strangers on basis of shared interest or views. Social engineering refers to psychological manipulation of people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. Forum In internet, forum is an online discussion site where like-minded people can hold conversation in the form of posted messages. Health and Fitness Internet is now playing a healthy role in providing extensive information on health and fitness. Using various medical sites, one can read more about various diseases, their cures, precautionary measures, etc. Disadvantages of Internet Internet has several advantages for every individual and is extremely popular in this modern age. However, it's a tool which must be handled with caution as its misuse can be extremely dangerous. Some of the threats of internet are as follows. Virus threat Computers that are connected to the internet are more prone to virus attacks which can result in the crashing of system, data loss and hardware malfunctioning. Spamming It refers to unwanted mails that are of commercial nature sent indiscriminately to multiple mailing lists, individuals or even news groups. It unnecessarily uses the system's resources and can also be used to spread computer virus or other malicious software. Theft of personal information Internet is the main source of piracy, plagiarism and other evil issues relating to privacy of information of an individual or even an organization. One should be careful enough while handling one's personal information such as name, address, credit card number, etc. As they can be accessed by hackers or crackers for personal monetary gains. Such elements can also disturb system applications by spreading virus and changing program logics and outputs. Cyber-terrorism It causes a serious threat to the world nowadays. Modern terrorist organizations perform target attacks on power plants, banks, commercial areas or buildings of national importance. This can be conducted remotely with the help of a mobile phone or the internet, which are less expensive than traditional terrorist methods. Time wastage. Although internet provides various services to its users, yet people generally waste time and energy 
in surfing the internet. This can result in loss of our personal interaction with people and can also affect both our socializing skills and health. Know the fact. Cyber trafficking refers to the serious crime of selling drugs, weapons and even human beings over the internet. Traffickers contact their customers through encrypted emails and fix their deals at places like internet cafes in order to sell their illegal substances. Some criminals even build websites for online selling and trade of these harmful commodities. Computing Ethics Ethics is a set of moral principles that govern the behavior of a group or an individual. Similarly, computing ethics is a set of procedures, moral principles and ethical practices that regulates the use of computer. It focuses on ethical implementation and use of computing resources and includes new issues that are raised by new technologies. It basically aims at encouraging IT users to be responsible in order to utilize the technology tools judiciously, respect views of others, and acknowledge the rights and properties of people on the internet. Some of the common ethical guidelines which should be followed while using a computer are as follows. Do not use computer technology to cause disruption or interference in other users' work. Do not spy on other person's computer data. Do not use computer technology to steal information. Do not contribute to the spread of wrong information using computer technology. Avoid buying pirated software. Pay for software unless it's free. Before developing a software, think about the social impact it can have. Be respectful and courteous with the fellow members while communicating on the internet. <laughs>